Hello, my name is Brian of Hessens County, and I'm glad that you could join us again today for another TTRPG Talk short. This video series takes a look at tabletop role-playing games and related materials in short form. Today, however, we're going to be taking a look at Delete the Rich. Uh, that was released by Tragos Games, a pushed-powered TTRPG intended for one to six people. The game is set in a dying cyberpunk world. The uber-rich exemplified by the Orbis Sectus, have created a metaverse called the Sanctum to hide out in during the last days of humankind, wasting away the last of our planet's precious resources to play in their little virtual paradise. While mostly pop populated by uh, programmed AI, other human beings have been forced, conned, or otherwise exploited to join in this billionaire second life to add extra authenticity to the experiences being offered. Your players, however, are a team of hackers scattered across the globe that have come together for one primary mission. Kill the six members of the Orbis Sectus and extract the code from them in order to shut down Sanctum for good. Luckily for you, the Sanctum works like the Matrix, and that if you die in one place, you die in real life too. For you to do this, you will be infiltrating the metaverse disguised as uh, one of the bots until the moment to strike comes. If you can free the other humans, well, all the better to you. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the push system, it utilizes a blackjack-like modifierless dice mechanic. You start off by rolling a d6, uh, a six-sided dice to start. If you get a result from one to four, that is considered a weak hit, which is a success with complications. Rolling a five or a six is a strong hit, or in other words, a full, or in other words, a full success. If you are unhappy with your weak hit, though, you can also choose to roll an additional six-sided die. Be careful, though, because if you roll a seven or higher in total, uh, that is considered a miss, which is a full failure plus additional complications on top of it. Like most other push-powered games, the manual for Delete the Rich also has a significant number of rolling tables to help facilitate quick character creation and GM-less adventure guidance. Included in this is an oracle that provides a yes, no, and oh my god, really bad answers uh, to unresolved questions, and a scenario table that helps provide locations that you might jack into and who you might find once you get there. The different sections of Sanctum provide fertile ground for easy development, differentiated by different types of indulgences that are practiced there. There is a cultural center, a clubbing district, a brothel casino, a uh, nature and hunting reserve, a combat arena, and a district built around religious ritual. With a clear end goal, the death of the Orbis Sectus and the destruction of the Sanctum, of course, your hacker's journey could play out as a quick one-shot just trying to take down one target, or a long-term campaign of drama as your opposition learns who you are, what you're trying to do, and adapts. Now, uh, one more thing to keep in mind, this game is available in Brazilian Portuguese in addition to English. Now, I do believe it is time for you to go out and delete the Uber Rich, but don't forget to rate your itch purchases while you're at it. If you would like to show your support for this channel, or for the Hessens County blog, in the description down below, you will find links to the Channel Coffee and also the Itch Store. Please feel free to take a look and thank you for your support.